the secret to making holiday cookies taste just as good, even though you've substituted healthier ingredients. There's a great trick to do with almost any cookie that has flour in it. You can substitute up to half the amount of flour with whole wheat, 100% whole wheat flour. It doesn't change the texture or you don't need a different amount of baking soda or anything like that. And in most cookies, it's undetectable if you do half and half. And there's some delicious recipes that don't use any flour. The almond macaroon fingers are delicious. They don't have any flour in them. So the healthy part about them is that they're made with ground almonds, a little bit of sugar, and egg whites. So you really have a little bit of fat from the ground almonds, no other fat. And we're gilding the lily by putting some dark chocolate, which is also good for you, has antioxidants. And instead of dipping the whole cookie in there, we're just painting it lightly with a paintbrush. So you get a little spark of chocolate and a delicious chewy almond cookie. These cookies are fig bars, and they, are, they start out, instead of having lots of fat in them, they have dried figs that are soaked and, and mashed, so you're getting the pureed dried fruit as the base that makes it just moist and chewy without adding a lot of fat, and also those dried figs give you lots of fiber and even a little bit of calcium. The glaze itself is non-fat. There's just some confectioner's sugar and a little bit of brandy or vanilla extract in there with a little bit of water to mix it, and then you just spread it on the top with a paintbrush. It's nice and thin. It just adds a little hint of sweetness, and there's no fat added. I'm Elizabeth McGuire for Good Housekeeping Reports.